sexy thing. <laughs> so what you see over there, that is coffee. This is soft. This is coffee. But what you saw before, that's not coffee. Because <laughs> don't don't tell me that's coffee. Um, there's there's a lot to talk about in brewing methods and how it's done and temperature and and, and water and all of that. I'm going to skip through all, all of that because we're going to just do tasting. If you want to do brewing methods and all of that stuff, we'll do another talk. Was that a cake? It's <laughs> <laughs> a bomb. It's going to blow. Um, since we're here, this is espresso. I should point out espresso has three parts. There's uh, the top layer, the foamy part is called crema. This is called body. And this one is not the heart. The heart. <laughs> so, if you go to any of these espresso bars or any of the coffee places, you'll find they start with an espresso. And if you look at the espresso, it's usually in transparent cups. Yeah, so that they can see the separation. If you don't see the separation, throw it back on him, preferably on his face. <laughs> this is just porn. Okay. Uh, this is what you normally have at Kopitiam, and you've got your different ways of watering it. But the pattern that I want to show is that it's all starts with the same coffee at the bottom. And the way we do it in Kopitiam, and we do it in Singapore, is we use the sock. This you're all familiar with, yes? The different types of coffees that you can get. Espresso is the one that I showed you. But everything, everything starts with an espresso at the bottom. And then you just add milk, you get a macchiato. You add steamed milk and foam, you get a latte. You add um, equal parts foam and equal parts steamed milk, you get a and so on and so on. Right, quick time. Again, where are you now? What are we talking about? And what could that possibly be? <laughs> what was that again? What is it? I just said coffee. Yes. <laughs> a little more specific. Yeah. Okay, he's a type of coffee. Yes. 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 <laughs> one of these. One of these. One of these was named after. He's a flat white. <laughs> Go with it, yes, sensory, yes. Run with it a little bit more. It's not the five five right, but I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> These guys are the Kaputin monks. Cappuccino! Okay, so the reason why they call it cappuccino cappuccino is because the color of the thing that shows up in your mug looks like the rolls. And that's what they damaged the color. So they named it after them. Anyway, that was really good. So there's a lot to it. There's different ways of making it. There's different kinds of coffee. There's different combinations that you can then get. You'll do that some other time. Uh, the one that's most familiar to everybody is this one, the soft thing, which is effectively a variation of this and this. So I'll show you how this works in a bit. Um, so far we've got the Colombian and we have the Sumatran and then we have the uh, if you'll be on that. So what? Coffee is getting cold. No, so these are the ones that I really like, the ones that uh, really get all the flavors out. So if you're doing a tasting session, this is a good way to do it. Uh, the only thing you need to know is the difference between an espresso and this. So if you do an espresso, when it comes out of the machine, the reason why you have a machine that also sort of works like an espresso machine is because it compresses uh, the water, like basically the steam, and then forces it through, which is why it comes out in like 15 seconds. But this took about four minutes, and so did this. Okay. So that's the only difference, the amount of time and the amount of uh, caffeine that gets extracted. The only thing that, I, that you should keep in mind is when you're tasting an espresso, you think caramel. When you're tasting this type of coffee, you think sweet sugar honey. Because caramel is sort of a burnt version of sugar. Yes, that's how you caramelize sugar. So when you put it through an espresso machine, that's the sort of uh, thing that happens to all the sugars in the coffee. It becomes caramelized. So which is why it's very intense and very wakes you up, which is why the Danics love it and have it every single day. Okay, so back to the map. Uh, so 
these are the two things that we're going to look at. Uh, and the way we're going to describe them is something like this. The blend that I have is not exactly the same description that you're seeing here, so this is not a cheat sheet. Uh, what I'd like you to be able to do is actually taste them and then fill out uh, your impression of whatever you're tasting on one of these. And this is not, again, rocket science. It basically has like a 1 to 5 rating. The idea behind this is uh, use words, like English word, roughly, uh, next to each um, characteristic. So you smell it, you write down a couple of words like bright, uh, orangey, chocolatey smell, something like that. And then the acidity, which is uh, how intense it is and so on. Uh, I'll give you a cheat sheet to follow for that. Um, the body is how it feels on your tongue. That is really, really important, which is why we have these things here. I'll walk you through that in a second. So you're going to be describing all of those on this piece of paper, and you'll have to compare it with the person next to you or whoever you want to really compare it with. That's the idea. Because the person who, my tongue is different from your tongue, which is different from your tongue. And it's affected by what mood I'm in, what I have for lunch, what direction the wind is going. So, you know, what the coffee that we taste here today may not taste the same tomorrow. That's what I'm saying. Even if it's the same one. So you have distinct impressions of it. But the thing to look out for is the key differences between the, the three. And once you taste them, that will be very, very obvious. One is um, chocolatey. The next one will be fruity. And the third one will be basically too much to handle. Um, it'll be very heavy, full body, so it'll be very heavy. Uh, this, these are all the possible types of tastes that you can describe. Does anybody know what the five tastes are? Sweet, sour, salty. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter. Umami. Spicy. I said umami. Spicy. Umami is the word of forgotten flavor. It's the meat savoriness that you get as well. But you want to taste that in coffee. So there are different variations of this. This is what the pros normally use. I don't find the these. Uh, I know these. So we're going to do something like that. So just keep in mind that uh, on your tongue, you have different areas which will feel sort of um, different tastes. So generally, that will be more bitter when you see the back. And on the sides, you'll see probably a more sour. And on the tip of your tongue is where you can always see tastes. So this is a very general map, but it's always a combination of all. So I need you to really, really think about how it feels and how it tastes to you. Okay. Um, so then, this is the taste side, which you saw. The aromas have a whole different range of things that you can describe as. So there's things like caramelly, nutty, herby, fruity, flowery, that sort of thing. So when you smell it, you can refer to this to describe it in your notes. Um, but you can ignore all these because we're not that pro yet. We'll get sneaky and sneakier as we go. So I'll just leave this up, and what we'll do is we'll go around and taste the three different types of coffees. And don't know if there'll be enough for everybody, but that's what we're going to do. Okay? Nice. Any questions? Okay, great. All right, first things yeah. first. What was that? No. Okay. no <laughs> first things first, I'd, I'd like you to, to taste a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of uh, skimmed milk, and a little bit of actual full fresh milk. So what this will do is uh, these two will give you an impression of body. So this will feel heavier on the tongue when you take a sip and let it basically wash down over your tongue. And this will linger on a little bit longer than this. Am I pointing to the right thing? Yes, I am. So the, the skin milk will feel a lot more watery and lighter. This will feel a lot more heavier. So this is full body and this is not so full body. Um, this will give you the citrusy, so when you take a sip of orange juice, you feel which part of your tongue gets tingly. And once you do that, you'll be able to, to differentiate which one uh, of these coffees is more citrusy. Yes? Okay. So just pour these out, help yourselves to uh, one and sip it, but before that, we'll pour these out. How many times do you have Twenty. Okay. So this is the 
going to be, have to be a very small little thing. Um, right, first thing, first, when, when you pick up one of these, right, you got to sniff. So, do this. So you cover, you cover it like this, that's why they call it cupping. You cover this thing, and then, and then sniff. So, what you do is put your hand on the edge, make a cup shape. The same way that you would if you were doing something else with it. And then just breathe it in. And what you're looking for is the different flavors, the, the different aromas here. So make a note of whether it smells flowery, fruity, herby. Usually it will be a combination of all. But, you know, try and write down the thing that stands out for you. Once you add this. Okay, once you've done that, then you slow. And this is the important part. If you don't slurp the coffee, you're not tasting it. If you just drink it, like I just did, you're just going to taste bitter and nothing else. If you slurp it, what you do is you really like spread it all over your mouth. You can drink the thing. <laughs> it depends on which way you swing. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, two ways. Okay, so we're a serving of each. We get started. You can walk around, take your impressions, help yourselves to the eat.